Okay, in this video we want to introduce some terminology um, that's going to, to be the foundation of everything we do in the class. And so I thought the best starting point for that would be terminology that we're all fairly familiar with, which is that of financial accounting. So in GAAP financial accounting we're very used to revenue minus expenses gives us net income. So this is the income statement. And um, you recall probably with with not not entire joy how much time we spend thinking about recognition of revenue when you think about your financial accounting classes a lot of it comes down to is it revenue or isn't it and when so these concepts carry over into tax however in the tax side of things we don't tend to use the word revenue that much it is used, um, but it tends to be income that we talk about, which gets confusing because the word income shows up with net in front of it, and uh, but we just have to accept that. For the most part, inflows are called income. And when we, terminology-wise, when we talk about income and the questions that we have to figure out about it, we're asking, is it taxable or isn't it? So lots of money is going to flow in to a person or flow into a, a corporation that is not going to be taxable and some of it is and so we're going to be trying to figure out is it taxable or isn't it and the same thing we're going to want to figure out the amount and when so it's just revenue recognition is basically my point but it's it's slightly different on the expense side again we, we use the word expense but really in tax what we talk about are deductions but they're just expenses and so the net income that we're trying to get down to is taxable income so this is the amount that we will apply a tax rate to to come up with the tax that is paid but it's just like step back with deductions again so with expenses here we always talk about recognition too and amount and when and you'll recall that in coming up with this the matching concept was one we had to be very familiar with so we want revenues and expenses in the same period and so we find the expenses that were incurred to earn that revenue that's being reported this year well the same general principle applies in tax we want the matching concept to be uh, in full force when we figure out when what year the timing and amount of deductions however what we the terminology we tend to use is is it deductible or not how much of it is deductible and when is it deductible so again they're exactly the same thing it's just a terminology difference okay but in tax we're not done when we get down to taxable income what we need to figure out is how much tax is paid so we apply a rate that the government sets and that tells us how much we have to pay our tax payable but we're still not done because in tax there's this other sort of foreign thing called credits and those are reductions of the actual tax that you have to pay so the government may grant you a credit and say okay you were gonna pay X number of dollars now you're gonna pay less uh, and so we don't want to get confused by the financial accounting debit credit thing we just just understand credit in in our world is a reduction of the tax that you have to pay okay so hopefully this helps a little bit to give some some solidification to or some introduction to the terminology that we need to start adopting and then just to refresh again under gap the fundamentals of gap we had some some fundamental principles we had the going concern principle, which is that we assume that a business will continue into the future unless there's uh, evidence to the contrary. We also have the entity concept that tells us that we keep um, uh, separate entities, separate legal entities report separately. We have the unit of measure, which tells us that everything needs to be denominated in a common unit, which almost always is the dollar and then lastly we have this idea of periodic reporting where we break the life of the entity or the or the individual 
into artificial time periods and we, we normally use a year but it's really important to note that this is all of these concepts carry over into tax and periodic reporting is is as problematic in tax as it is in financial reporting we've got this idea that you know this th these we, we have to account for let's think of accounts receivable right we have to accrue an amount that we have not yet received in cash well tax and financial accounting are not going to get along entirely on on how those things should be recorded and and which time period they should go into but they do agree that periodic reporting is an important fundamental concept we have to we have to spend a fair bit of time and energy to make sure that we get things reported in the correct time period so hopefully this introduces some terminology that we can start to internalize and start to speak the language of tax as we move on